Luxury cars can be some of the most depreciated cars on the market and to prove that today we're talking about 10 in particular that cost less than £20,000 having started at way more than that. And if this video gets to a thousand likes, I'll make the same video again at under £10,000 instead. Huge thanks, by the way, to AG1 for sponsoring this video. Do hit like, subscribe as well if you're new. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. <laughs> A couple of years ago now, I made a video on why Skoda are the people's cheap luxury car brand, but even despite that, the superb Lauren and Clement is definitely the least likely car to look expensive on this list, at least on the exterior. Once you jump onto the interior, however, this changes completely, as the Lauren and Clement badging is kind of like the equivalent of autobiography for JLR, it's the height of opulence and luxury. Outside of the luxury, these come with a pretty humble engine, a 2 litre turbo diesel inline 4, which makes just 147 brake horsepower, taking them to 60 in 8.6 seconds. The quality of materials is amazing in these, with the Lauren and Clement stitching throughout tying it all together. Plus it has a panoramic roof, electric memory seats, dual zone climate control and all the rest, with a bunch of practicality too if you go for the estate. They'll run you around £9,000 at the bottom end, making it the cheapest car on the list, and for our 20k limit you'll get a 2020 model with 75,000 miles in it, probably with the 1.4 engine block instead, but either way these engines will be pretty reliable all in. I mentioned autobiography during the Skoda section, but now let's look properly into what that spec actually means, with the Land Rover Range Rover autobiography, which is genuinely one of the most luxurious cars on the list, helped by it being bigger than everything else as the only SUV. It comes with a 4.4 litre V8 engine which makes 271 brake horsepower, taking it to 60 in 7.6 seconds. Not that these stats really matter at all with these luxury beasts, instead it's just that engine's torque that matters, helping it to waft along nicely. This was the most expensive Range Rover option on release, with an incredibly long spec list, including parts like automatic climate control, crazy sound systems, a heated leather and wood steering wheel, larger alloy wheels and a panoramic sunroof, plus optional entertainment packages packages which came with additional screens in the rear. They'll run you around £18,000 the bottom end and for £20,000 you'll be looking at a high mileage 2015 model. Reliability is not the Range Rover's strong point but the SDV8 is known to be more reliable than the smaller TDV6 engines. Infotainment problems have hit some owners though with age. Now I talk a lot on this channel about looking after your car but what about looking after yourself? Well luckily today's sponsor AG1 has you covered with my favourite foundational nutrition supplement and they very kindly offered you guys, the viewers, the opportunity to get some of your own. The reason why I got involved with AG1 is literally two of my favourite athletes drink it to support their lifestyles. AG1 supports my incredibly hectic life. I have a full-time job, a YouTube channel, a wife, a cat, wherever he is. I've always taken a bunch of different supplements to support that, but since working with AG1, I've freed up a bunch of space in my cabinet and woven this into my morningly wellness routine. For me, just like having a cup of tea in the mornings, I have my AG1. Now, I've only just started, but I'm looking forward to seeing some of the key benefits like supporting my stress levels, my immune system, and my focus and my energy. I literally just got back from a week of work abroad and I'm absolutely shattered. So it's definitely time for a drink. It actually tastes pretty good and some of my friends like to mix it with fruit juice instead. So if you're ready to weave AG1 into your daily routine, go and check out the link at drinkag1.com forward slash cars with JB. It's on screen somewhere. Get started on your first purchase and receive a free one year set of vitamins of D3 and K2, as well as five travel packs. Thanks again to AG1 for sponsoring this video. Let's get on to the next car. Maserati have taken a lot of criticism for poor build quality at times, but in terms of aesthetics, the luxury in the Quattroporte are some of the best best looking and the most classy with its Italian stylings. Within our price range you'll get a 3 litre twin turbo diesel V6 engine which makes 271 brake horsepower taking it to 60 in 6.2 seconds. This is the 6th generation Quattroporte following a long line of cars that were originally around to compete with Ferrari for the attention of the wealthy and states people in Italy. It was designed by an ex Pininfarina designer and though it maybe doesn't have quite as many crazy luxury features as say the Range Rover we just spoke about, it is blessed with incredible materials used throughout, plus this is partly due to Maserati's slightly greater interest in being sporty than luxurious. They're listed anywhere from around the £13,000 mark, with 20k being enough for a 2016 model with 50k on it. Reliability has mostly been okay on these according to most owners, but as I said before, build quality is the main complaint that I could find. 
We've spoken about one autobiography car, let's talk about another. The Jaguar XJL Autobiography, which is a properly beastly luxury executive car that comes with a 3 litre twin turbocharged diesel V6 engine, producing 295 brake horsepower, taking it to 60 in 5.9 seconds, not bad for its size. The autobiography package on these might even be more luxurious than that in the Range Rover, as it comes with four zone climate control, acoustic laminated glass to remove road noise, automatic everything for the driver, almost everything internally has its own own illumination, there's the multimedia systems too and multiple safety features that are on another level. Genuinely this car is not far from the pinnacle of luxury but unfortunately the price does reflect that as it's the most expensive car on the list, starting at our 20k limit which would get you a 2016 model with around 100k on it. These even had a sentinel version which included bulletproof windows and bomb proof doors as well as armoured plating underneath used by the British Prime Minister in 2011 for maximum luxury and security. That engine sadly isn't the best from a reliable reliability perspective however and there are all sorts of known problems. The Porsche Panamera isn't specifically a luxury car, if anything it's kind of an in-betweener, offering good drivability and decent luxury. In Platinum Edition spec however, the focus has shifted more to that premium luxury offering than being just a road-going family cruiser with its 3 litre turbocharged V6 engine which makes 295 brake horsepower taking it to 60 in 5.9 seconds, completely matching the Jag. The main difference externally on these is the silver and black trim that runs around the car car which is then mirrored to an extent on the interior plus as the turbo alloys too. You could have a selection of interior options but the two-tone beige and black was quite popular. But effectively the main thing about the Platinum Edition is that it gets basically all of the luxury equipment you could spec onto a standard Panamera like the heated seats, Bose Audio and the premium package. £15,000 will get you into one and £20,000 is enough for a 2013 model with around 90k on the clock. Timing chain tensioners are a known issue on these sadly and it's not the most reliable of Porsche engines blocks. The Lexus LS line of cars has been a staple in the luxury car world and there have been some absolute bangers that will go down in history. I wouldn't say the final face of the LS460 from the fourth generation LS is one of those but it's the newest LS you can get within our price range. They come with a nice 4.6 liter V8 engine which makes 388 brake horsepower taking them to 60 in 5.5 seconds. The 2013 face of definitely made the car look and feel a bit more modern with the new spindle grille that's a little bit more angular and more reminiscent of recent Lexus. Lexuses. This car has great luxury features that I could tell you about but I think it's more interesting to know that this is a luxury car that is cemented in luxury culture as it ended up with multiple ultra luxury limited editions including the Neiman Marcus, Pebble Beach, Salon Del Mobile and Laundelay models. £15,000 the minimum you'll find these listed for and for 20k you'll be looking at a 2014 model with 90k on the clock plus as it has a Toyota engine without hybrid power you know it'll be reliable too. One of the most luxurious cars on this list is also the oldest. It's it's this, the Mercedes S600L, an absolutely incredible luxury car which mostly sets the standard for luxury cars in the executive class. It comes with a 5.5 litre twin turbocharged V12 engine which makes 509 brake horsepower, taking it to 60 in 5.1 seconds. Some of the most insane options on these include the infrared glass, massage seats front and rear, fridge between the rear seats, four zone climate control back in 2006 and everything else that you might expect out of a Rolls Royce or equivalent today, just 20 or years older. You can tell these are part often based on all the V12 badging around them including on the interior and genuinely these have been used as executive luxury chauffeur cars in many cases, so mileages might be quite high but you know they've been run as part of a fleet and therefore often looked after pretty well. They'll cost you around £11,000 the bottom end and 20 k is enough for a 2006 model with high mileage, this one in particular was apparently owned previously by Andrew Lloyd Webber. The Bentley Continental Flying Spur had to be on this list as probably the most luxurious badge and for its time one of the most luxurious cars available competing with Rolls Royces that probably had a slightly narrower appeal. They come with the most ridiculous engine, a 60 to twin turbocharged W12 which makes 552 brake horsepower the most on this list which takes them to 60 in 4.9 seconds, decent for a car of its age and it's genuinely quite reliable when looked after well though maintenance costs can be high and repairs can be crippling if something does go wrong. Considering how old these are, the spec variability on them is incredible. Bentley really offered early owners an almost unlimited choice when it came to how they wanted their cars to look and what features they wanted to see inside. One of the best specs you get from a luxury perspective is the limousine spec, which included reclining rear seats that give passengers an insane level of comfort. These have been cheap for quite a long time, starting at around the 10k mark now, with 20k getting you into a 2008 model with 70k on it. This might be a first in the history of this channel. The OGs might be able to tell me differently, but I 
think I've never had two consecutive W12 engine cars in any of my lists, given how rare that engine type is. The Audi A8 W12 comes with a 6.3 litre block to be exact, which puts out 493 brake horsepower, taking it to 60 in 4.5 seconds, pretty quick considering the size and weight of this monster. I've mentioned the S8 in recent videos, but the A8 W12 had the higher level of luxury, with cool features like the heated and cooled massaging seats, blinds for the rear windows, and instead of a fridge between the rear seats, a ski pass through system, it really is built for the wealthy. I've always thought these have pretty anonymous specs, but that's probably for the better. They don't draw attention to themselves at all, but then offer great luxury and one of the most wafty engines on the list, known to be mostly reliable though a pain to work on. These start at around £17,000, with £20,000 getting you into a 2012 model with 70k on it. Taking the top spot in this video is the BMW 760Li from the F01 generation, which comes with a massive 60 to twin turbocharged V12 engine, which produces 536 brake horsepower, taking it to 60 in 4.5 seconds, meaning alongside the A8 it will waft to 60 incredibly comfortably. Considering the previous generation 7 series was known to have a bunch of issues, this one definitely stepped up the quality and luxury off the back of it. I've actually been in one and the massage seats are such a cool feature. You can select where exactly you want to be massaged and you can even choose which parts of you you might want heated or cooled, rather than ending up with a sweaty back and undercarriage. Although it's worth noting this is only the top spec and slightly later models. The entertainment is also pretty good with independent screens for those in the rear and in the right spec, a limousine setup is similar to the Flying Spur, letting you kick back in true luxury. And then there's the engine noise, it's non-existent, you'll hear nothing but the speakers in these with an insanely comfortable ride too. £16,000 the minute you'll find these listed for and for £20,000 you'll get a 2014 model with high mileage. And so there we have it, 10 luxury cars, all less than £20,000, huge depreciation, very good. But if you want to see some slightly more expensive ones that are on their way down in price then click up here subscribe as well down here huge thanks again to Adrian for sponsoring the video do click the link in the description go get yourself some stuff from over there and claim your deal huge thanks to you guys as well for watching the patrons their support and as always thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one